Hey guys, welcome to Eric Auto Center. Ever wonder what all those sensors do on your engine? In this video, I'll explain every single one of them. You'll be a we're done. First up, the mass airflow sensor or MAF sensor. It measures how much air is going into the engine so the computer knows how much fuel to mix in. A bad MAF sensor can mess things up, so keep an eye on it. Next, the Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor, or MAP sensor. It measures pressure in the intake manifold, telling the computer how hard the engine's working. The computer adjusts timing and fuel mixture for optimal performance. If this sensor fails, your car might hesitate, stall, or struggle to accelerate. Now, let's talk about the Oxygen Sensor, or O2 sensor. It detects how much oxygen is left after the engine burns fuel. It tells the computer if the engine's burning fuel efficiently or running rich or lean. So, yeah, it's pretty important. Let's move on to the throttle position sensor, or TPS. This sensor tells the computer how far you're pushing the gas pedal. A bad TPS can lead to poor acceleration and rough idle. You might even have trouble shifting gears. Now let's talk about the engine coolant temperature sensor, or ECT sensor. It monitors how hot the engine gets. It tells the computer to turn on the cooling fans or adjust the fuel mixture to prevent overheating. Overheating can warp cylinder heads and blow the head gasket. Next up, the crankshaft position sensor, or CKP. It tells the computer where the crankshaft is, crucial for timing spark plugs and fuel injectors. Without it, your engine won't start. Then we got the camshaft position sensor, or CMP sensor. It works with the crankshaft sensor, telling the computer the camshaft's position. This ensures the valves open at the right time. Let's not forget the knock sensor. It listens for knocking or pinging sounds that indicate detonation. The knock sensor tells the computer to adjust the timing to stop the knocking. Now we have the intake air temperature sensor. It measures the air coming into the engine. The computer uses this info to fine tune the air fuel mixture. Let's talk about the exhaust gas recirculation valve position sensor. It monitors the EGR valve, reducing NOx emissions. A faulty EGR valve or sensor can increase emissions and cause rough idling. Next, we have the fuel pressure sensor. It monitors the fuel pressure in the fuel rail. The computer needs this information to ensure the injectors are delivering the right amount of fuel. Too much pressure can cause a fuel leak. Moving on to the vehicle speed sensor, or VSS. It tells the computer your car's speed. It's used for the automatic transmission, speedometer, ABS, and traction control. Now let's talk about the oil pressure sensor. It monitors the oil pressure in the engine. Low oil pressure means your engine's not getting enough lubrication, leading to serious damage. If the oil pressure light comes on, pull over and shut off the engine. Next up, the ambient air temperature sensor. It tells the climate control system the outside temperature. It might also help the engine management system adjust the air fuel mixture. Now, we have the fuel temperature sensor. It measures the temperature of the fuel in the lines or tank. The computer uses this info to adjust fuel injection timing and duration. Next, we have the brake pedal position sensor. It tells the computer when you're stepping on the brake. It's used for safety features like brake lights and cruise control. Now, for you folks with turbocharged engines, let's talk about the boost pressure sensor. It measures boost pressure created by the turbocharger. The computer uses this info to adjust fuel injection and control the wastegate. Too much boost and you could damage your engine. Now we have the air fuel ratio sensor or AFR sensor. It measures the air fuel mixture in the exhaust allowing fine adjustments for optimal performance and emissions control. Moving on to the transmission range sensor. It tells the computer what gear your car is in. It's vital for safety, preventing you from starting your car while in gear. 
Now, for you diesel drivers, let's talk about the diesel particulate filter pressure sensor. It measures pressure across the DPF. High pressure means the DPF is clogged and needs cleaning. Next, we have the Evaporative Emissions Pressure Sensor, or EVAP sensor. It monitors pressure in the fuel tank and lines, detecting leaks. Now let's talk about the Lambda sensor, or Wideband O2 sensor. It provides accurate air-fuel mixture data for precise fuel injection and ignition control. Next up, the Hall Effect sensor. It uses a magnetic field to detect the position or speed of rotating components. Often used with other sensors, it provides accurate engine timing and speed information. Finally, we have the Cylinder Pressure Sensor. It measures cylinder pressure during combustion, allowing precise control over ignition timing and fuel injection. Whoa, we covered a lot today, folks. Each sensor is crucial for the engine's efficiency and safety. Modern vehicles use the ECU to interpret sensor data and make real-time adjustments. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more updates from Eric Auto Center. And remember, keep those engines running smooth.